What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth. This is EJ Joyful Plans and for most of you this is probably uh, the most anticipated video of the year as we lead up to 2022. For me this is my most dreaded video of the year. I have never done a planner lineup video because my systems are kind of complicated at setup, or at least like, I can't just say I'm using this for this, this for this, this for this, because I am a habitual Franken planner and user of extension packs. And if a layout isn't working for me, I change it out. And so um, it's very hard to pinpoint exactly what I'm using because I could put this video out and in like two or three months, it my lineup changed. But I'm going to go ahead and play the game because that's what you do if you have a YouTube channel. You post your 2022 lineup. It's just what we do. Um, just to show you what we're working with, this is what we're working with. And I'm going to do my best in this video to describe what my layout, not my layout, my lineup is. And then in future videos, I'm going to set these up. So... Um, stay tuned. If you're not subscribed to my channel and you want to see how all of this plays out, I will one by one assemble each of my Franken planners. Now, I'm going to start with the most easy, most easy one of all, and that is this beautiful gem. This is a horizontal layout, and I'll do short little or brief uh, flip throughs of each each planner. So let's get started with this one. This is the Love for Letters planner, and it's actually. Uh, it's a horizontal layout, but it's really meant for practicing your lettering. And so I'm going to keep this on my bedside table. It says share a kind word today. And for anybody who is wanting to practice their handwriting in 2022, this is a really, really beautiful planner. And you can use it as a traditional planner or... You can use it just as practice, um, as a prompt to practice your lettering every day. It does come with a perpetual calendar, the uh, two years at a glance at the beginning. And then at the, at the beginning of every month, you get some practice strokes, but then also spaces for notes and ideas and important dates. It, this is a really beautiful planner. And uh, I haven't seen anybody use it as a planner planner. I've only seen it used as a handwriting planner or a journal, um, but yeah, this is beautiful. It's very neutral, but hopefully you can tell the horizontal lines are set up like, like elementary school writing lines, practice lines. So I'm going to keep this by my bedside and just every day I'm just going to write something in here and I might end up doing this like a, like a faith journal or a, just a regular journal where um, if I'm doing like a Bible study or have some thoughts, I'll, I'll put it in here, but I'll maybe be mindful of how I'm writing so that every day as I'm journaling or writing some sort of like Bible reflection, you know, I'm getting some practice in with my handwriting. So I, as of today, because <laughs> my, my plans could change, I am not going to Franken plan this. Uh, I want to keep this separate from my Franken planner because as I've said in my, um, oh, what was it? The planner rep, planner funk video. Sometimes you can overly Franken plan and, you know, have a bunch of stuff in one planner um, that you might need somewhere else. So uh, I'm going to keep this separate. We'll just do a quick little flip through of the different dividers. It's gorgeous. It really is gorgeous. And if you're looking for something a little bit different, this has deluxe metal, rose gold metal discs. And it's just lovely. I got this in my squad box and I was so excited. I'm still so excited. And uh, yeah, it'll be fun to use this this year. So again, not Franken planning this one yet, it, um, but this is the easiest one as you can see because it's staying just as it is. No crazy changes here so cute just so 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 cute and then um whoop, on the back we've just got some some dots so no changes to the love for letters planner that will be on my bedside that will be for writing practicing journaling whatever okay so this one done good to go so let's talk about my catch-all planner which will be a franken planner the 
base or the the star of the show will be this fitness planner and it is what i've always wanted in the fitness layout from the happy planner it's super neutral so again you get the two two years at a glance a very neutral perpetual calendar and then i love the dashboard for or the currently page for the month you've got a progress section important dates how i'm strengthening my mind my body and my uh, how I'm strengthening my body, what I'm loving about myself. Now, I don't prefer these uh, dividers because I am going to use this fitness planner as my catch all and fitness planner in one. So I'm going to take the dividers from this planner. This is a vertical planner and these dividers are much more my style. And if you look at the monthlies, they're identical. So I'm just going to swap out all of the dividers. So again, this planner, the fitness planner, will be my catch-all and fitness planner in one. But I'm going to change out the planners with the neutral leopard vertical layout dividers. So we'll just do a quick little looky-loo at this. I had a whole video doing a flip through of this and explaining my theory behind it and why I want to use a fitness planner as my catch-all. So um, I will try and link that down in the description box. So this is my catch-all planner, catch-all and fitness planner. Just do a quick little, little looky-loo. I like these dividers. They're very inspirational. And if I was keeping my fitness planner separate from my catch-all planner, then this would be great. But because this planner is not going to be just for fitness, I want it to be more neutral and more decorative, less about fitness. So that is my plan. So say hello to my catch-all slash fitness planner combined in one. Okay, that was sort of easy. I will be, now we get a little bit, we're going to make things a little bit more complicated. I will be frank and planning the catch all with this guy. This is a monthly layout planner. It came out in August and I absolutely love, let me just grab. So this is still good moving into 2022. I absolutely love this. I love this dashboard style. I feel like it could be good for fitness or as a catch-all. I just, I like it. And I like having a perpetual daily task list as the rest of this planner. So it's essentially undated. I mean, it's got the, the uh, month up at the top, but I just like that it's neutral and I can do whatever I want with it. So my plan is to glue these pages um, in the front of my catch-all planner at the beginning of every month. So I'm gonna glue them in somehow. Haven't quite figured that part out. Um, it's okay if this stays as is, so maybe um, this gets, I think this might have to get glued to the currently page of the fitness planner. Did you guys follow me when I said that? So I'm going to take these pages out from the monthly and incorporate them at the front of every month in my fitness slash catch all. So I am using a monthly layout, sort of. <laughs> That's the seasonal doodles. Okay, let's do, let's talk about the um, mini I am incorporating. This is going to be pretty basic. I am going to try a mini planner and on the go mini planner. This is an undated planner that I will need to set up. Um, but I just think this, the, uh, bright type aesthetic is so pretty. I love this so much. I have a full thrip, full thrip. Oh my goodness. A full flip through of this planner. Um, it is a vertical layout. I am not a vertical planner, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try just because this is super cute. And my plan is to put this on a deluxe cover metal discs and I'm going to take the first six months put that in the planner along with a healthy stack of 
just mini filler paper, lined paper, and that's just going to go with me everywhere. I may or may not decorate it. We'll see. But this will just be just a little planner that I just take on the go with me. So we are going with the bright type vertical on the go with some note paper for my mini. Are you ready for the super confusing but really fun part for me? Um, that is my social media planner. Now, when I say social media planner, I mean um, tracking information, journaling my my journey on Instagram and on YouTube, planning for content, dreaming about ideas for the future of my career. So it extends kind of beyond like, oh, what do you post on Instagram? It really is like my information hub, my my dreams and goals in one planner slash journal. And this one's confusing. So the base of it is going to be a happy plans and notes. It's going to be this one. And I'm doing this because I like that the monthly pages do not have dividers on them because I like using clear or neutral dividers like this. And I don't, I don't like having monthly dividers basically. So I am going to use the monthlies for this and the, um, I, I think what I'll do is since I'm already taking the dividers from this one and putting it in my catch all, I will probably take the calendar information this calendar information, the perpetual calendar that is dated, I'm going to take that and put that in my social media planner. So this planner basically is going to be used in three different ways. It's going to be parceled out to, to different planners. So I'm going to take the dated information from this planner and it's going to go in this happy plans and notes. The exception being the monthlies, I'm going to use these monthlies. Now, when it gets into the actual planning pages for social media, I am going to stick with the Girl With Goals and the Hustle and Heart extension pack that looks like this. So I am not going to use the monthlies from here, right? Because I'm using um, these ones. And then I really like the additional planning pages, and this is what I'm gonna focus on. So my plan is to use these pages and not the weekly pages. I know, sounds crazy. So you're gonna have to stay tuned for the assembly of this. But the plan is that each of these tabs is going to have a different space and time, I guess you could say. So this tab would be for monthly. This will be for the to-dos and I'll pull out the to-do pages from here. And then this will be my like log, my weekly log. And for this, because I'm not a huge fan of the hourly layout, I'm sticking with my tried and true teacher layout. I love this bad mamma jamma. I just, I like that it's lined and that you can go vertical or horizontally. So my plan is to use the extra pages from this weekly and then use this weekly layout in my social media planner. So if you're following with me, that means my social media planner will be a collection of things. It will be the happy plans and notes, it will be the to-dos to and functionality from these extension packs. And we're going to keep rocking and rolling with the weekly layout from the teacher layout. Are you guys still following me? Anybody confused yet? <laughs> I also picked up a budget extension pack and I'm going to have a divider tab that is for finance and budget. And I'm just going to grab pages from this. So this also will be in my social media planner. There is a small chance that I will move my budget over into the catch-all planner. It just comes down to what am I working on while I'm looking at budget stuff. If it's mostly like future dreams of business and social media and all that kind of stuff, then I want the budget to be with this. But if I end up using it more for personal budget, 
then this will go in, it'll be Franken planned into my catch-all planner. The last item that I'm going to incorporate as needed is the daily extension pack. And because these pages are undated and they're just, I mean, they're just really pretty daily dailies, I can pull one out and grab it and put it in anywhere I want. So that is the plan I might uh, incorporate some of those. I think that is everything. Were you able to follow along? I know it's confusing. It will make more sense when everything is assembled. And I'm really excited to film the assembly videos because I really just want to get these set up. So, um, so here is everything for the uh, social media. And then we've got the mini that will be combined with note paper and put on a deluxe cover and whatnot. Everything will have more Lux covers and discs because that's just, it's what I do. Um, and then this will be my catch-all and my fitness planner. There will be elements of the monthly planner. There will be the dividers of this neutral bad mamma jamma. And then I feel like I'm missing something. I feel like I'm missing something. Depending on how this all fits together, I might end up incorporating this into Franken Planet with this. So this is all together because I know that the catch all will be on my bedside table and that's where I want this to go. So these might all end up together. So that is a the best way I can describe where I think I'm going with my 2022 lineup. It might not make sense to you. It might seem super excess to you. It is excess. Let me just say, in closing, you do not need this many planners. You do not need to use extension packs. It is quite normal to have one planner for the year. It is. Um, but I really love the disc bound system and I love mixing and matching all kinds of different things together to make my own custom planner. And that means pulling from extension packs, pulling dividers from one place with weekly layouts from another, with monthly layouts from another and putting them all together. But it is, this is extra and over the top. So please um, don't feel influenced to do what I'm doing and to make a big mess of your office. <laughs> Use what works for you. This is what, we'll see if it works for me. I could a month or two from now say, it was too much. It was too complicated. I'm changing things up and that's perfectly fine. So I will uh, report back to you guys and let you know how this all works for for me. Um, but do stay tuned, subscribe to my channel. I will be posting three setup videos for my 2022 lineup in the next, um, hopefully over the next week. So if you want to see how these all turn out, then just keep watching. In the meantime, come hang out with me over on Instagram. My handle is ejjoyful underscore plans. It is always a good time. And, uh, until next time, friend, God bless you and keep you do something creative today. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.